big one today. Quick intro, because I'm in a rush. As per usual, I am going to leave now. King's Gym, Croydon, the legs with Louis and Cycles. Tommy Di Cicloso and little Louis. Little big Louis. Little big Louis Blackmore. And me. So, providing today's savage face tingles and extreme stimulation and pump, we have nine grams of Stimumax Black Edition because I've not run out of that yet. Mixed with uh, 20 grams of complete strength uh, fruit punch. So, this one's probably going to be quite interesting. So, I guess we're probably going to have to get it! We're gonna have to get this one. All right, see you. The famous Croydon Industrial. Right on time, as per usual. Look who it is in the distance. Spotted a wild gearhead. Who goes there? <laughs> mm. Hello, then. Here we are. Lewis. Hello. The back of Thomas's head. And me. So, 36 grams of pre workout put me in a bit of a pickle. I'm alright now. First working set to pump from pendulum squat. I've never done pendulum squat before, so this is going to be interesting for me. We sign off for five plates. First working set, one working set, one back on set. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. Good. 
to be able to talk to you today. Look how white I am. Because for the last 48 hours, they've probably been the worst of my life that I can remember for a very long time. <sighs> Got a stomach bug from Juliet, throwing up all through the night and all of yesterday. And the kids literally just barely move all day. I've woken up today, a bit of a body is in absolute agony though. Lower back, legs, calves, I'm not feeling good. I did legs on, on Saturday and then fell ill Saturday night. And all yesterday and today, my body's just in an absolute bit. So, I'm back today, down two and a half kilos in 48 hours. Brightman Shred. Conditions improved slightly. Would not recommend, would not recommend stunt bug for getting ill there. So, I'm cooking up some porridge. I'm gonna get some food in me, get some nutrients back in me, and then hopefully feel a bit more alive later on today. Yo, 
okay then. So I've been feeling some type of way and that type of way is tired after a long sleep. Numbers in the gym not moving forward, some of them even moving backward. Lack of motivation to get up and do shit. Don't mind me by the way, I'm just reading my notes. Lack of motivation to get up and do shit, like even go to work. A lack of motivation to train and even like a resentment of where I'm training. Now that's nothing too new because I hate gym boxes. Not for me. I need to get out of there so I can get to a gym that supports my goals. Really slow recovery, so still rehearsing like days and days and days after I've trained a certain muscle group to a point where it's like, that's not normal. Some niggles creeping in, some are right dealt. I'm teetering on the edge of painful. So these are all really big signs of one thing, in my opinion, and that is that I need a deload. Other signs you might get, increased rest in heart rate. So if it was like hovering around 50, 60, normally and it jumps at 70 and you can't seem to get it down. A lack of blood glucose efficiency, so your body's not being able to get the glucose out of your blood quick enough. So you're seeing higher than normal readings. These aren't things that I track, but if you were to track them, these might be signals that you need a deload. And then potentially poor sleep quality, so where I've said I'm waking up tired after a long sleep. That is a big sign that stress is high, recovery is low, and you might need a deload. So, so it took me quite a few weeks to realise, or put all these things together and realise that a deload is maybe what I need. And I think something that I think made it quite obvious to me is that there's kind of three groups of trainers, three groups of lifters. So if we think of, we've got natty lifters, we've got enhanced lifters, and then we've got natty lifters that have been enhanced. Now this third group, when they were enhanced, they would have been lifting heavier weights than before, for more reps than before, and probably a higher intensity. Now, when you take away the enhancement, but you continue to lift those really heavy weights, it's almost like a superficial strength. You've built that strength there, but you've built it super physiologically. And therefore, when you come back to earth and you're natty again, I think you're very highly susceptible to like a lack of recovery and high amount of stress in the body. And that's where I think I've landed. So I've kind of diagnosed all these different symptoms and said, Joe, you need a rest. You're not recovering as well as you should be. And you need to deload. So last week was my last full cycle of training. Um, I hit legs on Saturday and then funny enough, got very, very ill over the weekend with a stomach bug. So I've been aching and aching and aching since Saturday all the way through to today. So today is Wednesday. But legs was going to be my last session, um, my last kind of push it session before the start of the deload. And then I would begin a week deload. So what's happened this week, because the stomach bug is, I trained on Saturday and then I was absolutely wrecked on Sunday and Monday. Tuesday felt all right, but still in quite a lot of pain. Um, and then Wednesday, still not feeling great. So finally today, Thursday, um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. On the fifth day after I last trained, um, I got back in the gym today for my first deload session. Now, my current split means that I hit both push and pull twice a week, and legs once. Um, so what I'm planning to do with my deload is hit one rotation now of each session before I go back into pushing it hard. So what I did today was like a push deload session. All that meant was, dropped all my weights to about 70% of what I'd normally do, and then didn't take any to failure. I didn't do any particular back off sets for higher reps. I didn't take, I didn't do any drop sets, no ISO holds. So I removed all of those intensifiers and did two basically straight sets of either 10 or 12, depending on the movement. And that's what I'm gonna do for my pool day as well. So tomorrow, um, or potentially Friday, I'll do a pool. Tomorrow is Friday, boom. Tomorrow I will do a pool day and I will implement those same techniques. Um, and then again, I'll have another couple of days rest and then I think I'll get back to my training. That is a dealer that I think is gonna work for me and it's one that I've had to kind of cobble together due to being ill for so many days. Otherwise I might have done a couple more rotations, but I think a real key part of the deload is rather than still going to gym for like four or five days a week, it's just pulling back and just taking a bit more rest. I've kind of covered the basic principles of deload there, um, but I think again, it can be quite individual, providing you stick to the principles of pulling back on the weight, not taking anything into failure, and probably stay away from the intensifiers, drop off sets, etc. And it can be a bit boring, but I think it's definitely necessary if you're feeling that way. I've seen a couple of questions on Instagram over the last few days, not directed at me, but other people where someone's saying you need to deal it every six to eight weeks. I've not read the science on that, not read the literature, 
but from my opinion it's going to be completely person dependent and it's going to be when you're ready when you feel you're ready and if you need to and if you're an enhanced athlete you may not even feel like you need to because your recover ca recovery capabilities are that much better than a natural person so there you go that's how we're feeling that's what i'm going to do about it and that is the end of the video good night